Evening, folks. It's uh, been a long weekend here. It's uh, start off here the beginning of August, and um, we're thinking about fall already. We got ourselves um, a stump deer stand that we had uh, purchased, oh, I think, over a year ago. Um, it's uh, on a pallet right now that I put a couple four by fours underneath so we could start to pull it, and I've got it on a rope, um, actually a tow rope here to the uh, diesel gator. And we are towing this thing um, a little over a mile um, out to um, an area that's a little trickier to get to. Um, and we're going to we're going to put this thing up and we're going to put a really nice set of legs on it. A nice set of stairs and just kind of show you how we do it um, on our farm. Finally got it pulled into position. It took us about a mile. We got a gator here loaded up with some green treated wood and we're going to put this sucker up. Got a couple good farm hands that are going to help me today, um, which is really nice. Um, we're going to lay the thing down on its side, um, but this is how we're going to do it out in sticks, so to speak. We're going to take some great big um, Spax bolts, and we're going to lag some uh, 4x4s into the metal base of this. Um, everybody's got a different length that they want to stick these things in the air. Um, in my neck of the woods, you don't have to go real high um, to get good coverage which is a blessing. And I also don't want to go real high because I want to have a set of stairs going up to this one. I want this one to be usable um, by the whole family. And sometimes that means by the older two than the younger. And for that to be the case um, and get some safety out of it, we're going to we're gonna do it with, with a set of stairs. So we're putting four legs on and then we're putting cross braces on. And what we're going to do is, is you know, kind of get them together and then we'll lift this 300 pound uh, monster up. Now the legs itself probably weigh a couple hundred pounds, but the, the, the stand is a stump and the stump doesn't weigh that much. It's only about, I think, 300. So three of us were able to just kind of tip it up and over and get the thing plopped up. Once we got it plopped up, it's just a matter now of starting to build things. Um, we've got it up in the air. Oh, I think about maybe six feet, which is what we want. And uh, once we got up in the air, we got a couple stringers here that we picked up. And we're going to put, um, you know, nice railing on it and some steps, which is pretty easy to do um, with uh, four people on it. Um, it really, 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 really goes pretty fast. It'll be nice and sturdy. Um, you know, it'll sit back here off in kind of this nook. It'll give us quite a bit of shooting distance come fall. And yet it gives us the safety of being able to enter and exit into this stand quite well. We're certainly going to make sure we lag this thing down. There are some winds back here that get the best of us. There is some frost heaves. So we're taking six foot T posts and we're going to drive them in at an angle. And then we're going to tie it down to that. Inside we got ourselves a couple little magnets and we're going to put up the uh, little curtains. Um, you know, try to keep try to keep the heat out of it. Try to keep some of the the um, pests from wanting to be in it, so to speak. And uh, we're going to make this uh, this stump uh, really quite cozy. I got several of these on the farm. They've worked well for me in the past. Um, back when I bought them, they were you know under eight hundred dollars. And I've just uh, kind of moved them around. We're going to cut some weeds out, kind of make ourselves some shooting lanes in here. Really try to extend our vision a bit. And uh, when we get done, we should have um, a really nice area. This is actually from one of the windows um, to reach out and shoot with. I mean, as you can see, we're kind of, we're going to make it work. We're going to, we're going to reach the distance here and get ourselves some nice clear cut area. Get these deer attracted right in here and maybe even some turkeys and we should have some good good hunting. But here it is right now. It's the stump. It's up um, in one day kind of deal. It's got four legs, two stringers, um, a bunch of steps going up to it, and a nice railing. It'll be nice and safe for us for the fall. I hope you like how we did it, folks. This is how we do it on our farm to make a deer stand get up in kind of the back 40. Thank you for watching, folks.